Oil, Iraq's hope for a better future. The government is gunning for an extra $1.7 trillion in oil revenue over the next 20 years. Vital cash to finance nationwide reconstruction. For that to happen, Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki has launched an initiative to open up Iraq's oil fields to foreign investment. It's an unpopular move. The industry was nationalized in 1972, and that's just the way many Iraqis like it. Many oil workers say they won't work for foreign energy groups. If these companies start to move into the oil fields, our reaction will be to demonstrate and go on strike. The government denies it's selling off Iraq's natural resources and says it's all for the good of the country. We will make sure at each stage of the process that the rights of Iraqi citizens are guaranteed and that they are the sole beneficiaries of our national resources. The problem is that for now, no one is benefiting. Iraq's first oil auction in four decades failed in June when foreign firms pulled out, saying their share of the potential profits was unacceptably low. Only one oil field out of the six up for development found an investor. Experts say a solution must be found. Iraq needs modern technology to develop its oil fields. At the same time, Iraq needs huge financial revenue to reconstruct after six years of war. Increasing production means an increase in oil revenue for the country. Iraq has the world's third largest proven oil reserves, behind only Saudi Arabia and Iran. But it's still a long road ahead to turn that precious resource into hard cash.